Right then. Here we are. We've um, emerged out of this coombe. There's a sheep on the path I've just walked up from down there. This is the tapered end of Slaughterhouse Coombe. And I've just walked all the way up through that coombe, Slaughterhouse Coombe and Hodder's Coombe, from where I've parked my van at Holford Car Park on the green, near the green. Like I said, it's not a, a huge adventurous walk today, although, you know, it's going to be a nice, easy plod as I make my way along here to Bicknoller Post. Then I would go up on that ridge on the top there, over to the trees in the different distance called, I call it the plantation, the memorial trees to people from the Second World War. I think there are 29 trees planted there. I'll be making my way towards there over the next couple of hours. If you're walking fast on a march, you'd do it in probably less than an hour. Just go like that. But that's not my plan. I like to not walk so slow that you get cold either. I've had to take the jumper off. I got quite hot. I'm doing a bit more videoing. I'm never quite sure what I put on other videos um, or how much i done of it. But that's a nice little scene with the sheep there by the tree. Look. These two sheep sheltering by the tree enjoying the Texas Island. They've all got their winter coats on still. So whether they get brought in to be sheared, I don't know. I know they do get rounded up at some point because it happened last year with men on quad bikes. <sighs> what a lovely coombe though, I've just walked up. That coombe down there. Absolute beauty walking through there. Embraced by beauty I was when I was down there a minute ago. It's nice to do that walk, which is better to do autumn and spring because of the ferns. Though it, you, you don't notice them yet, they will, they will take over. And you have to fight them to get through and find the path. <sighs> and then you won't see the snakes. So, you know, though it looks simple at the moment. <sighs> Here's a well-trodden route, this one, isn't it? Cool. Wordsworth and Coleridge would have been on here, and Dorothy, definitely. It's probably had, of course it's had stones added over the years, of course it has. It's a marching army route, isn't it? And the one at the top, the Macmillan one. There's a bigger one on the top. I decided to stay this side, though. To feel close to the area I really love, for me, um, here is my, the place I love. Um, Jude was further over that way, I think, but I think she still loved this place. I'm sure she did. Um, but anyway, I love it. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. To me, That's this is the Quantox. Not um, cultivated tall pine trees, though it is nice going in those areas. I don't like. I, I don't. I prefer this. This is the Quantox to me. This is it. This beautiful, beautiful place. And at the moment, because it's slightly misty over there, it's clouds out. Hinkley Point. Clouds it out. Now, for a minute, I'm just going to go up here just to see what's going on, see if, there's an, if I can see in advance any cows or horses. <sighs> so we we'll just we we'll just have a little creep up here, because if you go further along there, you can look down in that valley up there. In fact, I might do that first. I might do that first, actually. Before I go up there, I might stay on this bit, um, so I can look down, down to Slaughterhouse Coombe from 
I mean, people sit on these ridges here. Um, somebody coming on the bike now. Sorry, it's not coming this way, I don't think. I don't know. There's more than one path, you see. That tree looks like it's had it, doesn't it? That one there. The thing is, the bikers are taking over different areas. Ahead. Yeah, it's good to actually video. These trees up. Yeah, that's not my house, Kim. You can look straight down. I'm gonna go over. I'm gonna go off track a bit. There's somebody coming, but I'll keep the video rolling for now. That's the path down there I was earlier. Right down there, I was walking by those trees. There's a path. There it is, I just about to see it. 